So we're here today with Elaine Alker, and she's going to lead us through a daily energy workout. So what is this good for? What can this do for us? Well, this is going to help get us grounded. It's going to get our energies moving forward. It's going to get them crossing. It's going to help us metabolize energies and emotions and food. And it's also going to protect us from other energies, other people's energies, other magnetic field energies. And it's going to keep, did I say get our energies unscrambled? Not yet, but that sounds good. Okay, too. and then yeah. also that. I don't well. like my energy being scrambled. I right. like my eggs scrambled, but not my And the energy. very last exercise, stay with us to the very last one because that's the biggest bang for your buck. Okay. Okay. So Linda and I are going to fill in here as your backup course. You want to go ahead and okay. step up so and Okay, so I will step exercise. up and lead. All right. Yeah. So first we're going to start with the four thumbs, and we're going to start tapping. Take two fingers and start tapping right on the apples of your cheeks. And this is going to be really good for helping to ground you because this is the second point on stomach meridian. All right. Now we're going to come down to the uh, hollow in, the cl in, in your throat right here. And these are the points of your clavicle. And you're going to put your hand there and you're going to come down until you go into a little dip into a soft spot and you're going to rub those deeply and for most people this is going to be tender and you'll see Tiger Woods on the back nine rubbing along here and and what this is doing is get his getting all of his meridians running forward this is the 27th point on the kidney meridian and it's very good all of the meridians run through here so you want to tap 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 And now we're going to come to the sternum and where the thymus gland sits underneath this and this is going to boost our immune system. So we're going to tap deeply. Humans are the only primates that don't beat their chest, right? So if you feel a cold coming on, this is the one that you wanna do. My sinus is opening up already. Right, it shoots energies up into your eyes. It's really good that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and the other and the fourth thumb is actually two thumbs, and this is for the spleen. Again, kind of looks like the primates, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a tender spot that's along your, the side of you. Yeah. yeah, and you'll find that. And if it's not there, it might be right in the front, directly under your breast, about one rib down. And this helps you metabolize emotions. It helps you metabolize food. This is good too. All right, now we'll get our energies crossing. Okay. And you just take your hand and you do crossing over. You can see Sven and Linda doing it. I'll back up just a tad. Good. You're tapping your knees. You're just tapping your knees with your hands. Doing your, other, your other knee. Exaggerated other marching. And it gets your energies crossing because many, many people go into um, a conservation state of energy. And, the, and when they do, their energies go around in, in circles instead of crossing. So it's very important to get our energies to cross. All right. And then we're going to do the Wayne Cook. And we're going to do a modified Wayne Cook because we're all standing. So take your hand and put it out in front of you with the, with the top of your hand to the inside. Good. And now we're going to take the other hand, cross over, and roll it up. Cross your ankles, and nothing matters. It does not matter which way you start off doing this. And you're gonna wait until you take a deep breath. One just naturally comes up too. Yes, it does. And this gets your energies to be unscrambled, and they settle down, and your brain will settle down. And it's a really important thing for kids in school to do this so that they can learn better. And now, slowly unwind your hands. Don't let go. And do go the other way. Take your other ankle and put it, cross, you know, cross your ankles the other way. Whew, that was a good one. Yeah. This was originally discovered by Wayne Cook. And he discovered it for people who were stutterers. And he got their left and right brains crossing to stop stuttering. All right. And after you do that, then you're going to tense your hands together make, make a, and put it right here between your eyes, eyebrows. Take a 
couple of rats. And then when you're through, curl your fingers in and stretch them up, you know, stretch your forehead and shake them off. It feels really good and you can feel the energy in the room just kind of settle down. And the next one is to help your, um, helps you feel connected to others and it helps um, build a connection with your aura and make that spacesuit that's around your body um, really a lot more sturdy. So you take a middle finger and you put it in your belly button and you put your other finger, uh, middle finger on your third eye and you lift up, push in and lift up on both and you hold that until you take a deep breath. And this helps connect central and governing meridian, which are the most ancient energies on the planet. When an organism is only two cells, you've got central and governing meridian that are already in place. And in most people, this becomes unhooked. This will also stop a seizure. It's amazing how calming all these are. It's very calming to your nervous system and very centering. And now the next one you're going to do is a zip up and this helps protect your energies from other people's energies and from um, all kinds of electromagnetic field energies because all of those energies uh, kind of scramble our energies. They're very disorienting to our natural electromagnetic field. So we take our hands and we put them at our pubic bone and we zip up like we're zipping a zipper and I tell my clients listen almost like you hear a zipper and then lock it and do that. The universe likes things in threes, so do that three times mm -hmm. as you breathe in and lock it and again. Good. And now, who's got your back, right? You gotta, you gotta zip up mm -hmm. your back, so start at your tailbone mm -hmm. and pull it up over the top of your, to your top lip. Wow. Yeah, doesn't mm -hmm. that feel good? Mm -hmm. It's wow. like mm -hmm. really nice, mm -hmm. isn't it? <laughs> And then I like to do a few little figure eights just to kind of lock it in. Yeah, that one gave me goosebumps yeah, down my legs. Really that was good. Now, Don Eden uses a lot of these figure eights. That's a, like, right, a seal, because the body, yes, the, um, it's like the infinity symbol, you know, the figure eight on its side. Well, the body's energies naturally move in a lot of figure eights. A lot of mm -hmm. the energies do. Okay, so now we have connecting heaven and earth. And uh, we're, we're going to just put our hands on our thighs. Yeah, and we can rub them together and put them on our thighs and try to ground our energies through our fingertips, down through our feet, our legs and feet. Like we have big roots, big tap roots coming out the bottoms of our feet. And imagine grounding. And now we're going to take, a, on the in-breath, we're going to bring our hands together in prayer position in the front. This is very good for expelling toxins from our joints. So anybody who has arthritis okay, or inflammation of any kind. All right, so take a breath in, and we're going to go push up <laughs> like that and straight down. So, Sven, I need you to turn your hands over like we're doing an Egyptian. Okay, it's going to look okay. like this, all right? Walk but like an Egyptian. Straight up and straight down. So okay. in small version, it's going to look like, the, okay. like that. There we go. All right, and then bring it back in. Let go of the breath and bring it back in, which most of you have probably <laughs> passed out by now. All right, so the other one goes the other way. And do that, but you really want to stretch, so I'm going to do it right. And you really want to open up this side and crush this other side. Yeah, and then back. And do this all in your own time. And now you're really opening up this side and smooshing these. This is very yoga-like. And after you do this about three or four times, you bend over forward. And so you two bend over forward. And then you take two deep breaths. So I'm going to come back here and really open up this low part of your back. Yeah. Now you can start 
taking your arms like big elephant trunks and mm. swinging them back and forth, making figure eights all around you because our aura loves figure eights. And come up as you're doing it. Kitty. <laughs> Right. Kitty wants to do it too. Yeah. And so we're going to start coming up and you bring it the whole way up and then you can just bring that down. And the last one we're going to do today is called Connecting Heaven and Earth. And this is the one that is the biggest bang for your buck because it gets into all of your energy systems and it touches all of the energy systems and, and um, strengthens them. All right. So we're going to take our hands together and rub them really, really hard. And you feel that energy between your hands like it's a little bunny. All right. And on the in-breath, we're going to bring them up to our hands up to our ears. Good. Exhale. On the in-breath, bring your elbows together. And on the out-breath, I want you to make your hands flat like this, fingers together. And I want you to act like you're swimming through the energy. All right, and I want to go this way to show you. I want your hands, when you get up to the top, I want them to be upside down. Then we're going to turn our hands over and we're going to, on the in-breath, we're going to scoop the energy up. Yeah, cross at the elbows. Now we're going to turn our hands out and push it out. Yeah, very good. In-breath, and now we're going to bend over an inch or two and scoop it up. See how we're weaving and push it out. And keep going down. And there we go. Good. Out. And we keep doing this. We, keep, we cross at the knees until we cross at the ankles. And you get down there and you reach back and you reach forward and you scoop all of that energy up. Bring it all up. Yeah. Very nice. And let it rain down over your head. Isn't that nice? <laughs> that's really, yeah, that's a good one. So now you can start off your day or end it with um, by going to bed with your energies running forward, mm -hmm. unscrambled, crossing, and you have that protection of your aura kind of woven around you and, and attached to you. Yeah. That was wonderful. Mm, thank you, Elaine. Thanks, Elaine. You're so welcome.